feel like this weather has been absolutely crazy, especially on the West Coast. We've got days where it's super hot and then it goes to like 60 degree weather and then it's back into the high 80s. So is it summer? Is it spring? Which is it? But either way, summer is right around the corner. So we're going to be covering 10 fragrances that are going to be perfect for this high heat weather. So whether or not you're working in the office or out in the field, these fragrances are going to be perfect for the high heat. So stick around, make yourself comfortable, and let's jump right in. going on everybody it's Eli with common sense and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video so all the fragrances on this list aren't going to be in any particular order they're just going to be fragrances that smell great for this heat and the first fragrance on our list is going to be a fragrance that I had just talked about you can actually check it out up here I made a video detailing this in greater detail but this one is going to be Ahmed Al Maghrabi's Blue Oud so if you are a fan of Middle Eastern Oudi fragrances with a nice bit of smoky leather and a refreshing summer twist to that just Middle Eastern DNA. This is going to be a perfect, perfect choice because it's got a blast of bergamot. It also has some fruit punch notes in the top and in the opening. So it smells very refreshing, very fruity. And it also has a little bit of like an incense and some dark leathery suede and agarwood with some musks in the base. So it's going to smell very dark, but at the same time, very refreshing. And it really is a unique summer oud fragrance. And the way that this just jumps and leaps off of your skin and smells extremely juicy within that first three, four hours. It is absolutely breathtaking. And once it dries down, you're gonna be left with a nice smoky Middle Eastern fragrance that's not going to choke a lot of people out. So if you want a versatile fragrance with some Western fresh inspiration, check out Ahmed Al Maghrabi's Blue Oud. Next up, we're looking at a Latafa fragrance, and this one's relatively affordable. I wanna say it's about 30 to $40, and this one is Latafa's Assad Zanzibar. So this is nowhere near similar to the original Latafa Assad. Assad was a twist on Dior Sauvage Elixir. This is going to be a more original style fragrance. This was done by a master perfumer, and she did a really great job on this fragrance. And there is some talks online about people comparing this to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. It smells similar and inspired by that, but this definitely takes it in a different direction. You have a blast of coconut iris, which is very lipsticky. It's powdery. You also have a sweet vanillic base with a little bit of a spice in there. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a lactonic horchata. So if you've ever had like rice pudding or horchata, it kind of reminds me of that. And it just smells absolutely refreshing. It's kind of funny because because on my skin, the coconut water note that's listed almost takes a protein powder, like a protein drink kind of twist to mind. But on other people, I've smelled it and it smells really nice. And if you want something that smells like a nice creamy lactonic coconut with a nice powdery iris and some sweet spices, this one's gonna be really nice. And that one is Latafa Asad Zanzibar. Number three, we have a fragrance from a really nice niche house. And this one is from the house of Memo. Memo makes extremely artistic, high quality, long lasting fragrances. And this one is Sintra. And I actually got turned onto this one by Justin Copeland. He makes amazing fragrance content. It's very refreshing. So check out Justin Copeland at Stay Fresh Productions down below. But man, this fragrance smells absolutely unique. It's creamy, it's lactonic. So if you love milky, sweet, vanillic, marshmallowy fragrances, with a touch of fruitiness. I think this is gonna be a wonderful pick. And this one is very, very unisex, maybe a little bit feminine leaning. I know that when I've worn this one, I've got compliments from other women asking what this is a handful of times, maybe two or three, but it's happened nonetheless. And so there is a nice reaction from women when they smell this fragrance. This basically smells like vanilla ice cream on a hot summer day with a little bit of suntan lotion. And you also have a nice, like a snow cone in your hand with a nice fruity grape or like a red berry. So snow cone mixed with some nice creamy vanillic tones with this, and it just smells absolutely heavenly. There's also some pedigrain in here and some neroli and some other white florals. So it's going to smell very creamy. It's gonna smell very relaxing and perfect for the spring and summer. And it lasts an eternity. This is, I believe an x de Parfum, if I am not mis- Oh no, it's an Eau de Parfum, but it performs like an x -trait. It is super thick, it's orange, it's a dark hued juice. And so you're gonna last a really long time when you spray this stuff on your skin. And that one is Memo Sintra. 
Now, if you've ever been into your Macy's, you have definitely got pushed this fragrance by some of the sales reps in there. And it's a bestseller for a reason. And I still find myself picking this one up just because it smells so good. This one is Giorgio Armani's Aqua di Gio Profondo. So there are a couple flankers that have come out recently. There's Profondo Lights that came out a couple years back. And there's, I believe, some new 2024 releases for this. But I'm just talking about the original OG Aqua di Gio Profondo with the blue bottle. So this fragrance is it's just classy it's a wonderful aquatic office friendly fragrance and honestly it performs wonderful especially in the heat because you have that classic aqua de Gio dna it's citrusy it's aquatic and it pushes off like crazy and what i love about this one is it has some mineralic notes in there so it's going to be a little bit smoky a little bit blue a little bit sweet a little bit spicy especially from the cypress and some of the patchouli in here but there's also some lavender some aqua zone and some other interesting creative notes that definitely make this smell aquatic yeah almost just like a classic italian men's cologne at the ocean that's just what i get with this one so if you're a fan of some of the other sweet shower gel blue fragrances like versace dylan blue this is going to be a little bit similar to that but it's going to be a lot more refreshing it's going to be more modern and honestly i think this does it way better and i would honestly get this one over the original aqua de gio and that one is aqua de gio profondo this next fragrance is a really fun fragrance and this one is a tiny tiny little one one ounce bottle. I believe they have slightly bigger bottles, but I picked this one up on Fragrance Buy for about 40 bucks or so. And this one is Carner Barcelona Tennis Club. This green bottle is so fun to look at. It's got a nice wooden block. It almost looks like a children's kind of building block almost. I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny, but man, does this stuff smell heavenly. It smells very similar to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. So if you've ever smelled that fragrance, it's a beautiful Neroli, just nice white floral fragrance with some beautiful aquatics. It smells very classy and very Italian, but this, it basically takes that DNA and twists it, adds a little bit of a sunscreen accord and it makes it smell like you're on an expensive resort just playing tennis, like the name suggests. I get a nice green, freshly cut grass out of this one, and so it smells very relaxing, and it smells like you're just at a high quality resort, just relaxing. Oh man, that smells good. It's also got a hefty dose of bergamot and blood orange in the opening, but there's also quite a bit of a warmth to it. So it smells like you just put on that sunscreen and you're just soaking up the sun with all those beautiful green trees around you. That's what I get out of this one. So if you wanna smell classy, very relaxing, floral, and just like a good fun time at a summer resort, check out this one. And that one is Carner Barcelona's Tennis Club. This next fragrance is from the Middle Eastern fragrance, Swiss Arabian, and this one is called Shagaf Ud Ahmar. So this one is going to be a beautiful tropical fruity fragrance. And so if you've ever smelled something like Tiziana Terenzi's Kirke or Zerjoff's Urba Pura, it's very similar to those two, but I feel like this is one of the most easy to wear versions of those. So some of the musks and the fruitiness in some of those fragrances can be a little bit harsh and headache inducing, especially Kirke. But this one, I feel like it's a extremely laid back. It's blended absolutely wonderful. And again, it's more casual and easy to pull off in this summer heat. And this one's got some beautiful aquatic florals in here. So it's gonna have a nice refreshing peach and some other fruity notes, but it also has some bergamot and a touch of iris in there. And I think the florals in here are done absolutely wonderful. They're extremely aquatic, uplifting, and very, very unisex. I also feel like I get a nice candied lemon out of this one and it's balanced very nice by the soft musky rose and musks that they have in here and if you want something that's just a very nice casual easy to wear long lasting version of Kirke and the Urba Pura then check this one out and that one is Shagaf Ud Ahmar Next up is going to be one of my newest fragrance procurements. This one is one that I have been eyeballing for a long time. I've been working my way through the travel kind of atomizer that I bought and the smaller bottle, but I finally decided to buy a big bottle of this one. This one is Maison Francis Kirkjohn's Gentle Fluidity Silver. Now there's also Gentle Fluidity Gold, which is also fantastic. It's a little bit more warm, a little bit sweet, but kind of a fun fact about those two versions, it's the exact same notes that they used in both fragrances but with different ratios so this one is my favorite out of the two this one has such a cooling quality to it and it almost reminds me of cold rainwater and a slight petrichor note so almost like that wet asphalt or wet earth vibe so it's very earthy it's very wet and it smells very very comforting and clean slightly powdery and slightly soapy but honestly it's nothing like i've ever smelled my god does this stuff smell fan 
fantastic. It's got such a cooling spiced quality to it. So you have juniper berries, you have some musks and coriander. So coriander gives off a little bit of a slightly peppery cool vibe. It's a little bit aquatic. The juniper berries give off a slightly green herbaceous vibe. And when combined with the kind of woody notes in here, it just smells absolutely soft. It's musky and it just kind of reminds me of warm, clean linens with a nice slightly green and piney quality to it. But some of that green pininess is a little bit subdued, but in my opinion, this just smells expensive. It smells like you have your life put together and it smells like money. Not to mention it projects like crazy in this high heat. Check out Maison Francis Kirk John's Gentle Fluidity Silver. Next up is a Latafa Pride fragrance. I also did a full review up here if you want to check it out, but this one is Art of Arabia one. There are three Art of Arabia fragrances, but this is basically a twist on the Louis Vuitton Imagination fragrance, which is basically a nice citrusy ginger and tea fragrance. So it's going to smell very energetic. It's going to smell super bright and effervescent. And I feel like this definitely takes inspiration from that and shares some of that magic. So it's very musky and the ambroxan that they use here lasts well into the dry down. And I want to say this is a 14 hour plus less fragrance. It's one of the longest lasting Latafa Pride fragrances I've smelled in a long time. But in terms of the quality of the blend here, it's a little bit sweet. It's got some nutmeg and some other nice kind of warm notes in here from the ginger. But man, it just smells very bright, citrusy, and the orange also adds a little bit of an energy combined with some of that ginger. So if you're in an office and you want a get stuff done fragrance, I've said that for another fragrance, but this is another get stuff done fragrance. So if you want it to last, you want to leave a nice refreshing scent trail around you while smelling very summer like you know this is going to be a perfect perfect fragrance this basically smells like a lemon soda with some nice green tea and some ginger so this is going to smell very inoffensive relaxing and unique and this one is latafa pride's art of arabia one Oh my God. I sent my cousin a picture of the uh, fanboy and chum chum cologne that I reviewed. <laughs> he said, dude, is that a vape? Please tell me that's not cologne. That's fire. Yep, I actually bought this fragrance <laughs> and put it on my skin. Our second to last fragrance is one of my favorite niche fragrances and boy, does this smell really, really good in this heat. This one is Zerjop's 40 Knots. This stuff gives off such an expensive smell. It smells like an expensive hotel body wash bubble bath. This basically smells like the world's most expensive candle. It smells bougie, luxurious, and just wealthy. And so whenever I smell this, I just get a nice soapy, smoky quality from this. And it's very rare that you find a smoky, woody fragrance that also smells soapy that you can pull off in the summer. So it's very dense and it definitely has a weight to it. It's got some cedar and it also has a touch of agarwood, I believe. So it's a little bit resinous. And when you combine it with the sea salt, the kind of aquatic air and some of those green notes, just that beautiful amber, it leaves you with a beautiful, unique, truly underrated fragrance DNA. Like whenever I smell this, I feel like I take myself way more seriously and there's just something about it that is absolutely magical. If you make it big and you have all the money in the world, I feel like you want your house to smell like this. And you may only want to use two or three sprays of this stuff because it does project and last a heck of a long time, but it definitely is summer suitable. So if you want something that's a little bit darker, a little bit more dense, but yet aquatic, go for this one. Go for Zerjoff's 40 Knots. And last but not least, we're gonna be looking at a Latafa fragrance. This one is a really underrated fragrance. It's semi-new, and this one is Latafa's Al Nashama. So Al Nashama is going to be a twist on Initio's Paragon. And Latafa also released Latafa Vintage Radio, and I did a comparison of these three fragrances. So again, that one you can check out as well on my channel. But this one, in terms of price and performance, it's matured a little bit since it's aged and I've opened it up. But I'd probably go with this one because it's a little bit cheaper. And boy, does this smell fantastic. You have a blast of plum. You also have, I feel like a little bit of bergamot in there. This also has a nice creamy sandalwood and you also have some marshmallowy notes. So similar to the Memo Sintra, 
just smells very lactonic and it's very, very unisex. So again, this is going to be one that I have got multiple compliments from women wearing and I just love recommending this one because it smells so incredible. Very similar to that Initio Paragon with a little bit more of a tropical, almost pineapple twist. But I gotta say this one is definitely more faithful in the dry down, maybe a little bit less peppery, but I feel like this one, it's a little bit more easy to wear. Plus this stuff lasts about eight or nine hours after you let it sit for a while and it's just extremely, extremely refreshing, sweet, it just leaves a beautiful trail in this high summer heat. And that one is Latafa's Al Nashama. So there you have it, 10 fragrances for this high heat. I feel like I've said that so many times. It's like you repeat it over and over and it starts to sound weird. It's like Oreo. Oreo, Oreo. But let me know if you have any other suggestions or if you've tried any of these fragrances because I'd love to discover more and potentially review them on this channel because I love smelling good. I love making these recommendations and I like saving some money too. So that does it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Eli with Common Sense. Until the next time, bye-bye. Portable, I wanna say it's about 30 to 40 dollars. <laughs>